Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Mustafa Bulam here. Welcome to the second part of this um, video tutorial on how I make my cartoons. Uh, if you have not watched the part one, you can go back and um, watch the first part where I showed you how I sketch and ink my cartoons. Um, here on this part, um, I'm showing you how I go about coloring. So usually before you start coloring, you have to create another layer because um, just as you had a different layer for your sketch and a different layer for the inking, you also need a different layer for coloring. When I'm coloring the sky, I use the soft brush to do that. You can also use your gradient tool for that. I usually start by coloring what is on the background. So the sky, maybe the bushes, the trees. Usually we, we create another layer under the line, lines layer. So the lines layer will always be uh, on top. So here I created a new layer and colored the word balloons and then here again I'm trying to create the bush bushes. Now because the bushes are in the background in the process of drawing I didn't use lines to create them uh, just to make them just to give them that background feel give the bush a, back, a background feel and so it doesn't pop out sort of so I've done that uh, using the lasso tool the lasso tool is a very important tool and I use it a lot so after using the lasso to create the bush or the pattern of the bush I use my you can use the paint bucket to just fill in the the the, the, the color green so you don't have to use your brush to color you just use the bucket and you just fill it in next um, I tried to create a bit of shadow for the for the bush this is a method I use all through so I just select an area and I go to the images and then I go into adjustment and then I adjust the brightness of that particular area that's let's select it so for this one I selected some part of the bush and I made it darker and 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 that's that I have my my, my shade there um, moving on next I start um, the ground um, uh, I have to say there's no one particular way of coloring on Photoshop different artists use different techniques but um, even I myself use different techniques sometimes but uh, uh, for this one, uh, this is how uh, I colored this. Um, there's some grass. Um, you can see some grass on the uh, on the ground there. And I don't have to use I don't have to use the lasso tool to, 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 to do that I can just simply use the brush and as we know the different blades you know of grass it's not always the same color there are different shades and all of that so you can just change the, the shade of the green you know choose some different shades maybe something yellow and all of that done with that next I move to the next thing on the background which is the the tree now uh, the tree would be maybe in the middle ground 
so if the if the sky and the bush are in the background the tree will be in the middle ground and probably the band is on the foreground something like that um, anyway it's, it's still in the background so I'm using the lasso tool to now select the tree uh, to do this you have to follow the outlines of the drawing uh, of the tree you know um, only the tree only the um, the tree you are not selecting only the tree and nothing outside the tree um, so that's what I'm I'm doing right now um, I'm going to speed it up a bit uh, so uh, we don't waste too much time So once I'm done selecting the tree, in this case I selected the tree, the leaves and even the sign and then I create another layer and then fill it in with uh, brown, just one color. Um, here this color we call it flats, these are just flats so they don't have um, maybe effects on them or shades or whatever. Um, so out of this flat that I've selected, I've colored everything brown. So now I'm selecting just the leaves uh, on the tree. So I've just selected a pattern of the leaves and I'm going to fill it in with um, green. Uh, you know, to differentiate between the, leaf, the leaves and the the, the 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 tree trunk and all of that so again I'm using the paint bucket to do this so I fill it in um, make some few adjustments here and there until I get the the shade I, I want Um, the tree that the leaves would also have maybe different shades uh, some areas where perhaps you could have a darker green and all of that so I've done that um, if you note if you notice that the leaves are just flat on the branches 
so I need to make them seem to be on the branches and not part of the branches to do that the little trick I do is just to create a kind of shadow under the green leaves so I just select the pattern of the leaf on the branch and then I go to images and um, select the adjustment and then reduce the brightness some artists like to instead of this process they want to choose a dark a darker color to fill in as their shadow um, whatever way you know you feel it's, it's it's better for you it's fine as long as you get um, what you want at the end so next um, I now select the select the sign because um, of course as it is right now it's just the same with the branch or um, no, the tree trunk or something like that and um, I want it to look different I want it to look um, again just like the leaves I want it to be on the branch uh, so it's it's like um, pasted on the branch and to get that is to get that you just create a shadow um, by the sign or under the sign so it shows that it's it's something that is on the on the tree trunk now I select the the sign itself and change its color or make it a bit brighter or something yeah just to make it look different from the tree trunk which is uh, which is brown so as you can see I've um, succeeded in making it um, look different so this is how we have it now we have the background everything is set on the background we have our sky we have the bush we have the ground with a bit of grass here and there and then we have the tree um, I also apply some shade on the tree just make some areas darker and make some areas um, lighter using the same procedure go to edit you select adjustment and then um, you either reduce the brightness if you need it to be darker or you increase the brightness if you want it to be lighter For this um, kind of work, uh, the editorial cartoons I do, I, I have a specific way I color because this is something we also have to understand. Um, coloring, you know, it depends on what you want to achieve at the end. If I want to have a painterly look, maybe like oil on canvas or watercolor feel at the end watercolor watercolor effect and all of that there's a way I, I, I color and um, for here um, editorial cartoons there's also a, a specific way I, I color and I, I try to stick to this um, pattern of coloring uh, for consistency Next, I'll move into coloring the characters, the bandits here. Um, to do that, I can turn off the visibility of the background layers. So, 
or the, I'll close the you can see the eye eye symbol there uh, once you click it it closes so what it does what it just means is um, you have made the layer invisible it's not deleted it's just not visible um, and then from there I start um, still using my lasso tool I will select the the characters following the outlines of the drawing so I'm going to speed it up so um, it's something you need to be patient when doing this um, you take your time you select the exact areas you need to apply color so here we go So once I'm done selecting, the next is I apply the color, still using my bucket tool, and then probably make some few adjustments, um, apply colors in certain areas where maybe uh, I missed in the process of the selection. Um, yeah so this is what we call the flats um generally I, I i apply as you can see i applied one color just like the tree i applied one color for everything and then um after this i'm now going to uh, separate each part so for example i can separate the gun and apl apply the color for the gun and then separate the maybe select the transistor radio and apply the colors select the the shirts or the trousers and like that like that until i'm satisfied with all um the the, the, the colors and then i like the outcome as well
so I'm going to speed it up again so that I'm able to I'm able to save some time so as you can see here I've selected the the, the first bandit's hat and I'm going to apply a color I've applied something like a blue color for the hat All right so now I'm selecting the trousers and then apply something like brown So at the end of the day, probably the only parts that will remain brown um, will be the, the, the skin. So maybe the face, the neck, the hands and all of that. For the eyes and the teeth, um, I may not need to select them because they are. I may not need to use the lasso tool to select them because they are. Um, they are small, so I could just use the pen tool or the brush tool to just color in what I want.
this is how as you can see I finish um, applying colors to each item and uh, I can now select them and also apply the shades just like um, other than the, the way I did with the tree. Now if I make the background visible, we'll have something like this, as you can see. background visible All right so now I'm coloring the the shoes and all of that Applying shades now, uh, or shea, just a bit of shade. Uh, you have to be consistent with your shade, so you have to know where the light is coming from. Once you know where your light is coming from, you can now put the shade on the opposite direction. These are basic principles on art. So, so once you're done with the coloring. As you can see we're done with the coloring the next thing we'll do is we we'll save it as uh, a jpeg file um, this will enable us to import it to um, corel draw for lettering and that will be in the third part of this uh, video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you've learned something please click subscribe like and subscribe and also share this video um, let's help grow the, the channel and i hope to put more stuff as time goes on thank you